All right, Matt, our fourth fight on the main card, UFC Moscow from the Siska Arena in Moscow, Russia. And listen, you've got a tale of two different fighters here. You've got Zalim Amadiev coming into this fight. He's 24 years old. He's 8-1, and one, taking on 32-year-old Danny Hot Chocolate Roberts. And listen, Matt, it's hard to find a Danny Roberts fight that isn't much fun. Whether he wins or loses or he fights Michelle Paella, they're usually pretty fun fights. And listen, he even won a fight of the night against David Zavada. It was a split decision win for him. It was an awesome fight, one that I was really looking forward to. And listen, in this one, it's just like I said, it's a weird tale of two different fighters because you've got Zalim Amadiev who lost his UFC debut, but he's got all of these finishes, nice all of those wins by knockout yeah. or TKO. And you have to consider it too. Like you said, he was taking on a guy like Max Griffin who you can say whatever you want about Max Griffin, but the guy has pretty good cardio and pretty damn good boxing. And it's a tough out Big for power. your first fight in the UFC. So Matt... How do you see this fight playing out? Because he's taken on another vet in mm-hmm. Danny Roberts, guy who's five and four in the UFC, who's only really lost a decent competition. I know you're trying to make this sound like it's going to be competitive, but Amadio is going to pick up Danny Roberts over his head, slam him on his neck, and knock him out on the ground. I don't see this being a competitive fight at all. If I'm being honest, Danny Roberts always loses to the cream of the crop, and not to say Amadio <laughs> is the cream of the crop just yet, but I don't think David Zav- or uh, Danny Roberts can a take a shot all that well. And I just feel like the wrestling advantage that Amadio is going to have, he's going to be able to take Danny Roberts down consistently and then get a lot of damage off. So even if Danny Roberts has better cardio in the long run, I just feel like the constant work that Amadio is going to make him do and the damage he's going to inflict to him on the ground is really going to take away from the cardio advantage that I believe Roberts does have. So I do feel like Amadio is going to be able to just grind, 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 and then get a stoppage in like late second, early third round. I don't quite see it that That's way. Fair. I mean, if it, you know, Amadiev struggled against Max Griffin. Yeah, it was a decently close fight, but you know, Danny Roberts, kind of similar fighter. I but mean, he has good. decent boxing. His distance management's all right, but that's his his big Achilles heel is the one. If a fight goes to the ground, or if you hit him hard enough on the chin, that's it. And that being said, I mean, you look at the odds. Amadiev is more than a two to one favorite. Danny Roberts plus one seventy five. Matt, you're going with Amadiev. I gave it away. I will also go with Salim Amadiev here, but I expect a closer fight than than what Matt's predicting. I think it's going to be a train. You do not want to miss out on our Fight Night Picks two-minute predictions for UFC Moscow. Fight Night Picks on YouTube. Let's Let's get get into it. it.